Hello and welcome to Monday Night Twitch. Here we are on a Monday, as is supposed to be. I'm your host, Wandering Tuke. With me, as always, is Big Foam Loaf. Good evening, all. Uh, for those who didn't get that, we've been twitching on Tuesday for the past couple of weeks because schedules. Well, it's been alternating. Let's not say every Tuesday, but so here Monday we are. Night Twitch is here. It is Monday. Feels, We're back on track. Feels normal. Feels right. It does feel right. Where are we, Daniel? Oh, we're climbing a really uh, big staircase tonight. Ooh. To the Tower of Sirith Ungol. Yeah. Kirith. Kirith, Kirith. Ungol. Yes. Did I, did I tell you my funny story about this? No. Okay. Well, it, it's not that funny, but and if I told it before, I apologize. But um, so I dropped my two daughters off at their school like behind their school, and there's this giant winding staircase up to their back gate. And so ever since pre-K, when my first, my oldest daughter started, I have referred to the staircase as Kirith Ungol. <laughs> so, so both of my girls will use that term as they climb the steps. So I, I love that, uh, you know, they're geeking out in their way. Nice. But yeah, they, they climb Kirith Ungol every day. <laughs> Good hopefully, on hopefully we get up the staircase as easily as they do tonight. Oh, now you've said it. Yeah. I don't remember a whole <laughs> lot about this quest. I remember there no, being... No, me neither. We played it once, right? So... Uh, I've played it a couple times now. Yeah. Three times, I guess, would be... And, uh, yeah. There's a big spider at the end of it, I hear. Yeah. There's a lot yeah. of triggers, so hopefully we'll remember everything. Not making promises. Well, we've got Finn Barfin in the chat. We do. Hopefully, hopefully the uh, ten second lag or whatever will yeah. we'll still be playing too slowly and can take everything back that we do wrong. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thanks, so thanks in advance, Joe, for that. <laughs> He's holding him to it now. Yeah. So some decisions we made before this one even started was to switch up the standard Frodo. Um, and I'll put or Mike, can you? I'll take control. Of it. Hold on a second here. And this is the reason why the heavy burden card, um, which we get for free, we've earned it. We get for free, yeah. So basically, our Frodo will probably be exhausted most of this quest. So rather than use this one off to the right, uh, here, yeah, there we go. Um, rather than using him to you know raise his willpower of attacking or something useful, we're using the other one because he doesn't need to be ready to use his response so he can do that while exhausted which seemed like a good thing for us yeah that sounds awesome but there's you know there's gonna be a lot of shenanigans with the ring and all that tonight but yep. maybe we're getting maybe we're getting ahead of ourselves we should probably read huh sure lots going on here why don't you start us off okay i'll read the lord of the rings part 12 you are playing campaign mode mike and she loves lair Attach heavy burden to the ring bearer. Remove each burden with the following decks. Of course, we couldn't do that. Because we there don't have any way. of those burdens. Oh, yes, indeed. There is another way. Darker, more difficult to find, more secret. But Smeagol knows it. Let Smeagol show you. I didn't want to do the, uh, the standard Smeagol. I hope you're okay with that. I think we should follow him. Okay. Oh, totally. <laughs> Smeagol <laughs> has led Frodo and Sam to the Morgul Vale, where he promises to show them a secret way over the mountains of shadow and into the land of Mordor. But Sam fears that Gollum may be leading them into a trap. <laughs> Sam. Sam. Stupid Always so paranoid. It. Set up. We set the cleft of Kirith Ungol, Shelob, and the Great Spider encounter set aside out of play. Smeagol into play under the first player's control. Go there. Uh, make Morgul Veil vale the active location. Add Smeagol's secret way to the staging area and shuffle the encounter deck. Let's make. Right. Let's give you Smeagol. Not Gollum. Uh, yep, yeah, we do have the Great Spider encounter set aside out of play. Yep, that's all set. <clears throat> Our starting threat is... Plus. I have factored in my plus two, have you? Hmm, I have now. <laughs> okay, uh, so all those things are set. Yes. Um, you want to read, before I flip the card, what the Morgul Veil vale does? Yes, okay, so... Mute to player card effects. After it's explored, we search the encounter deck and discard pile for a Morgul Wraith and add it to the staging area. Shuffle the encounter deck. 
Then the first player must either exhaust the One Ring or discard a random card from each player's hand. I think there's a lot of card discarding in this. Yeah, based, based on things I've seen. And then no. Smeagol's Secret Way. We have to either exhaust Smeagol or discard a random card from each player's hand when we travel there. I see. Okay. So uh, we'll need Smeagol. After it's right. explored, we either exhaust a character we control or discard a random card from our hands. Now, Smeagol yeah. will stay our friend until we quest unsuccessfully or get an unlucky draw. So, Or a few other things. Right. All right. Don't quest card that. 1B reads, Progress cannot be placed on underground locations. Response, after Siegel Sneaker Way is explored, discard three random cards from each player's hand to discard each Nazgul enemy in the staging area. Well, that's interesting. It is. All right. At the end of the quest phase, the Siegel Sneaker Way is in the victory display, then we advance. Okay. I see. Okay. That sounds reasonable. All right. Let's uh, control that. I'm going to stand over here. Okay. Ooh. What happened? Oh, I got an awesome draw. Oh, that makes one of us. Uh, I think we might like that. Okay. So, what I will be doing is taking a dollar off of Legolas to give a fancy shield to our friend. Um, I'm going to have... Eowyn, open the armory. <laughs> Look at the top ten cards and hope to find... Hmm. Found me that. That's a pretty nice start. Which is exactly what we want from the armory. Alright, sadly can't play it now, but that's okay, and I'll save Baragon's pennies for unexpected courage. That's me. All right, I'm going to toss the horsey for a resource on Gildor. Spend two for a steward of Gondor. Nice. One, two. Spend one for a light of Valinor. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> Do you notice, Mike, that we didn't have to throw any more cards into the staging area? What's the catch? That just tells me something really horrible is going to happen to us very soon. Yeah, what is that Nazgul? Yeah. Okay, I'm coming. going to put out him. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, hold on a sec. Mm -hmm. You're good? Okay. I'm good. So we'll be ringing four. Oh, um, Frodo's exhausted. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll be bringing four to this party right now. We have two in the middle. Okay, I'm bringing nine. I'm not going to bring Smeagol because... Hopefully we're going to use him. We're hopefully going to use him. Okay, so my card is the Den of Night. It's in the staging area. It gains forced after a when revealed effect is cancelled. Place a resource on Shelob. Oh. Okay. We're not allowed to go I... there. Our progress cannot be placed on underground locations. So I'm assuming that means right. it would be stupid to travel there. I think it would be really dumb. Now, yeah. a question I have for you, Mike. Does the put a resource on Shelob still matter if she is out of play? I believe it does not matter, but we don't want to go there anyways. Right, but I'm saying if we if we cancel something. Oh, I see. Right? Uh, that... Yeah, I think we're fine right now. Okay. And then your card is a Morgul Orc. It's got some peril for you. Yeah, I'm good. Random discard. We lost him. Are we sad? Mm, not really. Okay. Because that's now the only card in my hand. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're looking at four threat only. So we win by nine. Okay, so that'll go to the victory display. 
All right, so we now... We will search the encounter deck for a Morgul Wraith. I'm sure they can't be bad. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I can just take him and AO-in him. Well, we're going to have to, because <laughs> now we have to either discard a card from each of our hands or exhaust the one ring. Which definitely brings him down. All right. And I think that's what we do. I'm trying to think if I care about my cards. I kind of do. Well. And I've got Baragon ready to go, so... Let's exhaust the ring. Okay. Because we can also... Frodo tonight. Smeagol's Secret Way allows us to get rid of... Once it's explored. Yep. Once it's explored. No, where is that? There it is. Which means I have to have three cards in my hand. <clears throat> Let's just kill an Asgul. Yeah. Okay. So, uh... right, so we will exhaust Smeagol. Yeah, I got him. You got him. Okay. Yeah. Well, there we go. You're in there. Okay, so now um, the orc can stay up there. Yes, he can. And he's not doing a whole lot up there. He's not doing a whole lot there. I will take Morgul Wraith. How's that sound? All right. I'll defend with Baragon. The active location threat is two. So it's a, he's uh, a seven. Oh, yeah, that's a it's, little... It's going to hit him. Ah, uh, grievous wound. I'm actually going to say no to that. I think that's a good call. Yep, so I'll drop my threat by one. As much as people say, you know, or people's inclinations to leave it for the big bad guy... There's something to be said for that early game tempo. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I'm guessing you have no archers, correct? Correct. I have none of them on the table at the moment. Okay. So a whole bunch of things might just happen right now. I'm going to wake up Eowyn for three threat. Three. And she and Legolas will kill the Wraith. Nicely done. That finishes Smeagol's secret way. It does not. Because it's immune to player card effects. Oh, it totally is. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. Which is fine. That's okay. We <laughs> didn't really want that to happen so fast. Correct. Okay. So, the end of the quest phase if Smeagol's secret way is in the victory display. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. That's right. We started the game by killing a Nazgul. Take that. Okay, so I believe I get them both, right? You do. Excellent. <laughs> hello? Are you saying hello to the Sea Watcher? Yep, and hello. Draw, draw, draw. You got like an army over there. I totally do. Guess what I won't be having? An army? An army. Are you done? Uh, do you have any use for Frodo's resources? Uh, other than canceling the ring stuff, no. So maybe leave one on him? Okay, although we are going to be exhausting somebody. Well, you can exhaust Smeagol if you want. Oh, that's right. You can exhaust the Errand Rider. Well, no, because I'm going to use the Errand Rider right now to transfer one of Frodo's resources to anyone who wants it. Oh, I see. I don't, I don't need them. You don't? Nope. You sure? Do you want me to want them? Well, I mean, I'll, I'll spend it on Gandalf. Yeah, I, I don't need it. Okay. <laughs> That's me, then. All right. So are you ready mm -hmm. for fun? That's one to give Legolas his bow. 
that's another one to give my Gondor friend plus two defense. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Dude, that's incredible. Yeah. And uh, our chief defender is now unexpectedly courageous. We have got and, some kick-ass defense on the board. And that is me done. So perhaps I need to fish for that fortune or fate that's bound to, uh, we're going to bound to need. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Um, I'll Maybe bring forward the quest. And he's got two in the middle. I'm bringing 11. Okay, it's 13 to 2. Uh, all right, Mike, your card is. Oh, it's that one. Mm, dang it. Oh, this gets you hurt, right? This gets me hurt. I cannot cancel it. I apologize. He's Somewhere hit. I have condition control. She's hit. So I now have Grievous Wound on Gildor. Okay, you want to remind people what that does? Every time he exhausts, you deal a damage to him. Oof. Yeah. That's, that's hard. That's pretty harsh. And that surges. For three willpower? Yeah. Your other card is a deep, dark passage. You. Okay, so that prevents us from really putting progress in the staging area, which is fine, because none of our decks actually do that. Nope. Okay, and then my card is... Oh! Really? Oh. Okay. Okay, that is 8 to 15. So we win by 7, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, not that that matters. Alright. Are you ready? Okay, so... So we must either exhaust a character we control or discard a random card from hand. I'm happy to exhaust Baragond right now. Well, is that each of us? Yeah, I think so. Either exhaust a character or discard a random card. Just looking at where we're going to be traveling. Yeah, I'm going to take... exhaust Smeagol. Well, All right. Is there someone else you could exhaust? How about the Sea Watcher? I could. It means no arrows. That's that's fine. My and okay. if I take the wraith and you take the orc, I can kill him. It's like a loss. Okay. We don't need to take the wraith. Yeah, he could sit up there for a while, I guess. Well, let's find out. Okay. It is let's, for threat. Let's, so let's, let's do travel. this in order here. Let's travel to deep dark, I guess. Well, oh, wait, hey, we hang actually on. Go. We actually trigger the... Yeah, we space. do. Okay, you ready? Yep. Card 2A, the spiders pass. Presently, they were under the shadow. And there in the midst of it, they saw the opening of a cave. This is the way in, said Gollum softly. This is the entrance to the tunnel. He did not speak its name. Torch Ungol. Shalob's lair. When revealed, <sighs> add Shalob to the staging area. Uh, all right. And shuffle all cards from the Great Spider Encounter set and the discard pile into the encounter deck. So let me take care of that real quick. Yay, we get to see them all again. Do we go too fast, I wonder? No, I think you have to, because otherwise those locations build up. Yeah, okay. So that was 2A. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. 2B is, they had not gone more than a few yards when from behind them came a sound, startling and horrible in the heavy padded silence, a gurgling, bubbling noise, and a long venom hiss. Shalab cannot leave the staging area, and Smeagol cannot attack or defend. Each player cannot play or put into play more than one ally each round, and no more than four progress may be placed on this stage each round. Ugh. Yeah. Mike, why don't you tell the fans about Shelob? Okay, she is indestructible. Cannot have attachment. Plus one threat for each resource on her. At the beginning of the quest phase, she either place one resource on Shelob, or she makes an immediate attack against the first 
player. Now, Mike, what is a keyword you don't notice on her? I don't know. Notice how she is not immune to player card effects. Holy crow. Holy crow is right. <laughs> now, she is indestructible, so right. even if you pile a whole bunch of damage on her, it doesn't count. Yeah. Uh, and she's so unique. So there will be something about that. She's unique, yeah. so I can't use forewarned on her. Right. So that's something to think about. All right. All right, but right now it's the travel stage. Well, yeah, I mean, if, if Smeagol can't attack, then he might as well exhaust. To go to the deep, dark passage. Yeah. There we are. <clears throat> All right, so now we've got some monsters. And really, this is our question. <sighs> Eowyn has been used. So our attack strength is a little bit minimal. We have eight, nine threat that's going to be in the staging area at the start if we don't take the Wraith down. And I've got a stupid condition attachment on me. We probably should have used the ring to not take the Wraith. But, okay. Well, requested successfully, so I'll take a dollar. Either way, I'm taking the Morgul Orc, right? Yes. Now, do I take the Wraith and just sort of block him for a while? Because mm, we're already suffering an additional attack per round. I think I take him. Okay. What do you think? I think it's risky. But, but I mean, we're heroes, right? We need nine. We need to win by nine next turn just to get the four onto the quest card. Yeah. Okay. It's not going to happen with the Wraith there. All right. Ugh. I like it and don't like it at the same time. Okay. Your shadow, my shadow. Okay. So that means both your defenses are going to be used. Yeah, for at least the next turn, yeah. Hmm, okay. Well, I will uh, exhaust for warrant. Maybe that'll be the bad one. Yes, it is! It is! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's a bounce for you. Baragond is a bounce. I'll reduce my threat. Okay, attack backs. I will kill your orc. Thank you. Okay. I'll put two. That's helpful. I will foe hammer and really hope to be drawing. Okay. okay. That's really good. It's a cheap Sam because Frodo's coming back to me. Am I first player right now? I am, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or I just play Gandalf. Or for his do... defense. No, you'll do both. Trust I'll me, you'll do both. both. You'll do both. Oh, uh, I'll have Frodo's money. Yeah. You'll have Frodo's money and another dollar if you want it. All right, we're ready for next round, sir. I am ready for next round. Any triggers we should know about? I don't see any. Nothing in the chat room, so I'm going to assume we got everything right. Oh, oh nice. Okay, remember, we can only throw one ally. I forgot about that rule. Only one ally per turn. Oh, Gandalf. Who's more important right now? Gandalf right now. I think Gandalf. Because I got so a healer in hand. Okay, I will take one of your dollars. Okay. If you don't mind. Uh, who On who? I think it's going to go on Baragon. Okay, then for one dollar, I'll put a blade on Legolas. He's now five pierce two, which is helpful. I think. Very. I will spend one to 
three, four, five. Can you take one off Frodo, please? To bring in a friend of ours. Now, what should he do? Uh, don't need the threat. I wouldn't mind more cards, but I do have Foe Hammer, so I'm going to hit the Nazgul. I think that's a safe, safe bet. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you're up. I'm going to spend a dollar on Gildor for a card. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Let me see your hand. You get so excited about it. Oh, yeah. I like that. There's okay. goodness in that hand. Let's pitch a card to... Keep oh. that test of will handy, man. Yeah, I know. We're going to pitch it to Elrond. And then I'm going to pull it back with... Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, I can only bring out one ally per turn. But there is my healer. Okay. You there? Yep. Good. I am so here. All right. So I'm still only going to bring four on this quest. That's fine, because I can actually bring actually, nine. Let's now. bring Smeagol as well. We don't need him to go anywhere, right? Right. All right. Now, this is in effect, so let's... Remember that. That is yeah. the only trigger I can see us forgetting about. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, beginning of the quest phase. She makes an immediate attack against right. me. Uh, against me, actually. Oh, yeah, against you. Oh, um, so you have to. Frodo, Frodo is exhausted, by the way. Okay. Uh, Baragon is courageous in the f this. Non-objective attachment I control. Sadly, that has to happen, mm, and it will yeah, be the Rivendell Blade. Yeah, that's a good call. No. Considering I have right. your shield. I will take the defense now, or the threat reduction now. Okay, good call on that. Okay. Now we quest, so I'm bringing four. Six and with Smeagol. I am healing now. So I am at 11. Okay. 11 to 5. Uh, so we let we let her attack me when we could have just put a resource on her? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. There mm -hmm. were other alternatives. There are. Do you, I, lost, I, I lost a fancy sword to that. I seem to recall... We don't want resources yeah, it's on crazy her. awful when you have lots of resources on her at the end of the game. Mike, my card is... Oh, this guy. One threat. Let's see. That's peril. I can't see anything. Yep. I will discard a random card and hope it's Bayorn. Oh. Okay. And Mike, your card is the Underway. Each orc gets minus five engagement, so he's coming down anyway. After this enemy engages a player, deal it a shadow card. Okay, unless we okay, get out so of there. Two. So I am looking at eight to our 17, which is the exact nine I was talking about before, even though we didn't need it that time. <laughs> do three, four, five, six, seven is all we can put on that. The dark passage will go away. And it is the travel. Why not we go into the underway? Get rid of all that junk. Once it's active, it does nothing. No travel effect. All right. That's pretty good. Now, if you take that Morgul Orc, I will kill it. I will absolutely take the Morgul Orc. Oh, wait a minute. I might not kill it this turn. That's fine. Oh, and losing that blade just really hurt, dude. I know. Well, I have three arrows coming your way, if that okay, helps. That, that might help. Let's get that out of your way. All right, so we've got those shadows. All right, so Baragon will defend. 
Good. Nice. Well, okay. forewarned mine. Oh, nice. yeah! <laughs> Your forewarned is dynamite tonight. Take that, Caleb. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Take that, Caleb. I need to gloat All while right. I can. So I am hitting for four, eight. Plus three. 11 minus 4 is generally 7. Yep. Do you agree with that math? I do. That's one less Nazgul in the world. Nice. Gandalf, it was, it was great to see you, dude. All right, I don't think we're missing any triggers. Don't believe so. All right. Okay. So nobody's flat out died, right? One is flat out died. Good. We haven't we haven't missed that one. And you are first player. All right. How to best go about this? Well, let's first give me lots of money. <laughs> Always key. Pitch a resource to Arwen. Spend it to pull it back. I'll be right back. Sure. Yep, this is pretty darned awesome. Pretty darned awesome, guys. I'm liking it. What? I am... Now that I'm first player... Alright, am I up? Uh, almost. Legolas just got some money. Enjoy it. And I'm going to spend a dollar, draw a card. Oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, we're doing this. Eowyn is owed a dollar from Leader of Men from last turn. Sorry. Um, what are you doing? I missed it. I just threw out a Mythlon Sea Watcher. Are you respecting your ally limit? Yeah, I am. Okay. All right. I, I will put out some, sh some Shelob tech. I like. Yeah, we'll see. And that's me done, actually. All My right. turns are not quite as interesting as yours in the planning phase. So Shelob attacks right. me. Do you want her to? Yeah. Okay, there's five thread in the middle. You do? Um, you want this, huh? Okay. Well, want is a strong term. Let me think about this. Yeah, I mean, I can defend it. Let's do since that. You can't, since you can't forewarn it Yeah, anyway. then I can forewarn the next one. Okay. And That's hopefully we'll get it. lucky. Oh, really? That's... That's bitter. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, it attacks me. I can defend it again. Mm, yeah, okay. Let me, take her, let me take her again. This time for sure, hey? I'll reduce my threat, though. Or do you do it? No, oh, I would do it. You do it. Thank you. Take it. All right. Phew! Okay. Let's quest. I'll take for four. All right. That was close. It was. Uncomfortable, one might add. All right. Uh, nine... So I'm questing for 13. All right, so that brings us to 17. To 5. You ready? Your card is Call of the Ring. Either search for a Nazgul, Fanatis' Aging, or exhaust the One Ring and reveal the top card in the encounter deck. Now, if you cancel this with the Ring or with Test of Will, that goes off. Right. So that's, that's a thing to think about. Yeah. And so... Uh... I don't think we need more Nazgul in the world. Although I hit it for 10 with Legolas. But... I mean, I have 6 arrows. We have no defense against, the Naz against him. That's the problem. The Nazgul wouldn't come down. That's true. I can grab it out of the uh, encounter deck so we at least know where it is. And that's 
There's also four more threat. And what are we up? Okay. We're up quite a bit. We have a lot of threat. Let's pull the Nazgul out. That's my call. Oh, is this my card or yours? It's mine. It is your card. I mean, so we, we can we can clearly debate, but I, I, I'd go for the Nazgul. Okay. The devil you know. The one in the discard or in the deck? The deck. Okay. This is indeed the will of the council. I will see it done. There he is. Okay. So that's gone. Four more threat. Nine now, and my card is. Ooh. Lurking Malice. Either place a resource on Sheila or she makes an it. Oh, she's getting a resource, Mike. I'm sorry. It also surges. That will surge into. Oh, good. That's you again. I'm sorry. Uh, no, this is you. Oh, You're it is me. Player. Okay, fine. One, sorry. two. If only we had a healer who was super. Oh, we yeah. do. Oh, my goodness. Any openings. Each location in the stage ring gets plus one until the end round. If the number of locations in the stage ring is less than the number of players, an additional card. That is going to happen. So that's plus one threat, and it surges into Chilla's poison attached to a hero you control and exhaust that hero. Tree attached as blank except for traits that you can't ready. Oh. Eowyn. Can't ready. I don't mind the text box blank part, but but it has to be her for sure. She's already used her text box. Yuck. Um, well, I'm healing my guys. Well, we won. We won the quest by seven, which is perfect. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. And you counted the okay. plus one thread on Den of Night? I did. Okay. I did. Wow. Yeah, that sucked. That was um That was kinda uncool in a lot of ways. It was. So we got a Nazgul up there that you just insisted we take. Yeah, and he can stay there. Um, you want him to stay there? Well, uh, I need to defend this guy. Okay, it puts us at 10 threat. Oh, walking into the next one? And then the next one. But maybe I... that's... Maybe that's all right. It is what it is, right? Yeah, I think we'll be all right. Okay. Uh, for you warned. forewarned that. Okay. And I will... Oh, we're traveling to the dead. Oh, yeah. Uh, that puts a resource on Sheila, but sure. I think that's okay. Legolas puts two on it because he kills your dude. Whew. So things are looking... They're getting real. They're getting a little real. There's ten threat in the middle. Okay. So I think those two resources bump up every one of her stats when it matters, right? Uh, I don't know. Is my memory? All right. I think we can control N, sir. Let's do it. Double Sam. Okay, I like that. All right, so I think I might just hard cast Bayorn. Uh, <laughs> Although well, now is my Sam time. Uh, okay, so she can't ready. Right. So do I replace her with Sam? You know what? I'm going to. Bayern will be there next time. Is that okay with you? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Because we should be able to kill the Nazgul. Let me make sure of that. It's the Black Arrow and Sam who's going to get to attack. Should be okay. <laughs> Let's, uh... Put four damage on him? I don't know if we need the damage. Well, if it keeps me from using a black arrow, that's useful. 
Yeah, right. We might we might want that for Shelob. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. I Sam, am dropping my threat by six. Could do it. I don't think I've ever seen you play that card. I've only got one in the deck. I I, I threw it in. First time you've played it this campaign. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I really need it. Oh, that was handy. Yeah. All right. So um, we've got ten in the middle. And I am pitching oh, yeah. Glorfindel for a resource. Okay. Uh, I think Shelob's going to attack me. Uh, Frodo is knelt. All right. Here we go. It does not destroy a character. I'll reduce my threat. Okay. I'm questing for four, if you don't mind exhausting Smeagol. Okay, so I think I might just leave Gandalf up. Mm, why? Well, if we get one more enemy. I mean, if we don't need his quest power, it's fine. We need okay, to let's make see what we six. Got first. We need to make six. and. Uh, I'm questing for 11. What's in the staging area? Eight? Ten. Uh, ten. It is ten. I'll put... You know what? I should have done that before. I didn't actually use the resource from Glorfindel, so I'm spinning that first. Okay. Okay, so I'm at twelve. So we're only six. Yeah, you're right. Additional four for me. Yeah, I, hopefully we get a okay draw. You ready? My card is a block tunnel. It becomes the active location. That changes things dramatically. It does. Okay. Legolas can get through it, but he's got other problems. He does. My card. Right. And your card is... Spy Ooh. Ha. When the spiders are explored. So it's just basically three sitting in there, huh? Yeah. So there's 14 in the middle right now. Two are 20. So you win by six. Ouch. Oh, that's just so tempting for Legolas. Okay, wait, wait. What do we got? What do we got? If he can't... Oh, I can't pierce that. There's no way I can pierce that. Pierce the Wraith? Yeah. That's the only well, weapon if, we have. if I take him... I take him, I don't need you to. I don't need you to pierce, but... Ugh. Well, I can I can defend him all day. You can, huh? Yeah. Well, I hit him for nine, which will kill him. But if you can defend him all day, I can actually get us out of the block tunnel. Let's do it. Get us out of the block tunnel. Yeah. All right. So I will exhaust. A character with a weapon. That's the Legolas. Gets. I think this is. I think this is the right thing to do. Yes, John. We do have condition removal. We both do. Hidden somewhere in our decks. Hidden somewhere. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, all right. Nobody raised their threat, right? So I can't make Sam wake up. All right. Let's go to. Then a night again. Ugh, another resource on her. Oh god, it's brutal. Once, I mean, Sheila's gonna make another attack. I guess that's actually okay right now. As long as she doesn't get a second attack, yes. Okay, let's assume she won't. <laughs> so, <laughs> after it becomes the active location, she will attack me right i'm the first player yep okay i'll exhaust to defend and whoa runs. okay okay you're gonna take the wraith i'll take the wraith okay he's a shadow i can't defend him for you obviously but i can forewarn him 
Oh yeah, that. Oh, I that hate one. that card. That's, wow. It's a good one to see gone. Yeah. All right. Can you hit it at all? Uh, yes, I can hit it for two. Two. That's good. All right. I think we're good. We made yeah. no progress on the main quest, but we got tunneled. We did. Oh, well. Maybe uh -huh. we can get rid of a resource from Shelob. You are the first player, my friend. Just waiting for... Oh, no, I'm the first player. Uh, I'm the first Why? player this time. Oh. Because it says that I added the resource to Frodo. But okay. But I think it is... Did your game state update? Six. Yeah. I got a new card and stuff. Okay. I'm just going to manually ready my stuff. I'm going to save the table state. just in case. There we go. Okay. So you are... I think you're first player, right? I am first player. Okay. Oh, that's good to see. Okay, I'm going to... Ooh, do I want Glorfindel or do I want my Sword Elves to get started? I would always say Super Elf. But I so like them. <laughs> well... <laughs> mm, let me just check Glorfindel's defense. It's a one. It's a one. That's not his job, man. Yeah, I know. Okay. You can maybe uh, kill your wraith without me. One, two, three, four, five. Brings out Glorfindel. All right. There I will done. pitch a card to Arwen. Nice. And pull it back. Nice. Now I'm done. Okay. I have to actually one, two, three, four, five, six, hard cast Bayorn. That's but not what my deck is built to do, but it does it. it. There it is. So she's exhausted. Oh, she'll never wake up again. Nope. Alright. Yeah, someone in the chat asked if we had condition removal. Yeah. Yeah. Sure do. He responded sure with do. sad trombone. Oh. <laughs> that that kind of sad trombone? Exactly. Alright. Alright, let's put some progress down, son. We are at one seven threat in the middle. But first we need to get attacked, so slow down. Oh. You are getting attacked. Yeah. My guess is you would like me to defend that. Please, because I want to take on this Nazgul. Okay. That's... Oh, what an interesting card. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I hate that uh, shadow effect when it comes off wrong. Because uh, Gollum's yeah. so weak, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's... So the one time you leave it undefended. Yeah. All right. Um, why don't you reduce your threat, sir? Why, thank you. Actually, you don't need it, do you? I don't need it at all. Why don't you put that back, <laughs> and just in case, I will reduce my threat. <laughs> all right. Um, now we can quest. I got two. I have 16. Okay, 18 to 7. That's pretty good. Mike, your card is another Den of Night. Uh -huh. And... My card is Rage and Hunger. She like gets plus two until the end of the phase. She makes an immediate attack against each player in player order. Okay, let's think about that. Might this. be worth. That's going to be worth test of willing. That's two resources. Okay, hold on. 
She's going to hit for six. We can both defend that. Then you're going to die to the wraith. Uh, I can feed something to her. Yes, but then you're going to get overcome by grief. Which is fine. Because normally my characters don't die. Dude. I mean, you know there's no more monsters coming, right? Oh, there are. Aren't there? Not this turn. Yeah, exactly. This is the second card. So we know we have three defenses to make. Yeah. So Elrond can take the Wraith, and that makes the most sense. And then Shelob eats somebody? Shelob eats somebody, and it says, after a character, you control... Okay, so as long as I don't lose somebody. It doesn't matter. I'll just throw it on um, on Gildor. I'm at the point now where I'm getting enough willpower that it, it's not so bad. So let's do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, feeding an, an errand rider. You're the first player, right? Yep. Okay, so that's really yep. dead. Yep, I'm, I'm good with that. I am now okay. overcome by grief. Go ahead and grab that for yourself. Oh, and that's an extra. Baragond. You're safe. Bounces. I'll reduce my threat. That worked out swimmingly, weirdly. It did. There are... Let me heal my guy. There's eight in the middle, so we won by ten. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The max that we can put on it. We remove a resource from Shelob. Hey, hey. Did you do it? Yeah. You did it, right? Okay. Um, I say we travel to... Which Den of Night do you want to travel to? Because Legolas is going to put two on when you kill that Wraith. I say we travel to the unadultered one. Yeah, all right. Watch, we'll get another cool. blocked by Shad or by webs, though. Well, then Legolas will clear us out of that one. Yeah, all right. All right. So it's a re one resource back on Shelob. Uh, you took control of her, right? Oh, I got her back. All right. Here you go. Forewarned. You forewarned that. Yeah. All right. So it's yeah. with you. That's a horrible shadow. Yeah, it wasn't so good. Then uh, Legolas will join you in fighting. So I put two on him as long as you put one more. I did. Yeah. did two on that. Okay. Oof. Are we back in this? Were we ever out? <laughs> Things looked a little hairy when that mortal wraith was on me. We were kind of skirting the edge. Just skirting the edge. No, the thing that's going to get us tonight is shadow effects uh, that are if it's Shelob. Yeah. I think. All right. So I am now the first player, correct? Correct. Okay. I am actually owed a dollar for questing successfully, and I will pay it for that fella. Not getting my draw. Okay, I'm done. That's my one ally I'm allowed. Oh, the irony is... She is knelt. That uh, if I still have my errand he rider. Is knelt. Why is he knelt? I believe he's overcome by grief. Oh, until the end of the round, he'd be ready. And uh, he is not overcome yet. After care of your controls, you score to exhaust him until the end of the round. I believe. Oh, I see. Or do both forced effects go off? I don't know. It doesn't say then, so I have a feeling 
they are both separate things. That's how I read it. I mean, I'm not certain, but maybe we'll just quest for enough that it'll be okay. And I feel like he doesn't ready until the end of the round. Okay, so he's a done. Then he's, well, then he's permanently done, so that doesn't make sense. No, 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 no. You have to do the first part of the forced effect to make the second part move. Yeah. So I, I would wake him up. Okay. After a character you control is destroyed. Like, only if he's exhausted by the overcome by grief does that kick in, I think. That's why I... That's what I assumed. Then it kind of mirrors what Grievous Wound does too, right? Right. Now, if you quest with him and exhaust him, and then one of your people dies, he will not ready. Correct. Correct. All right. Okay. Hopefully, uh, Finn Barfin's there to give us the right rule on that. Let's I see. Think I think we're ready. Only the attaching forced effect goes off, says John. The second one doesn't happen on its initial attachment. Okay, so we're going to go with that right. ruling. Uh, I'm going to pitch a card to Elrond, and I'm going to pull it back with Arwen. Okay. Oh, that's tempting. But uh, I'm going to go one, two, three, four for my ally, Galdor oh, of the Havens. You're a big fan. Indeed. Okay. So, Mike, I'm going to say something a little crazy here. Are you ready to listen to crazy? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? I don't know what happens in quest card three. I don't know what these resources mean to Shelob. I do know that I am in possession of a black arrow and a Bayorn, though. So if it's a question of just hitting her, <laughs> I can it's, do that. I believe it's not. Okay, because that's 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 like hitting her for seventeen. Yeah, I know. So, like it's all right. So I'm just I'm not saying I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Kind of. So if we need to cancel stuff and put a few resources on her. I think that's okay. All right. That's all. That's all I'm saying. I think. Who's first player, by the way? Me, right? You are. So I will exhaust Sam and Smeagol. We'll go together. By the way, Frodo is knelt as well. So Shelob makes an attack against me. Against or me, you. you know? Against you, yeah. I think I'm first player, right? You are first player. Okay. So that happens before anyone falls asleep. And Baragon will take it. Uh... How nasty is that? I, I have a hasty stroke. Well, but there's worse stuff. Can I get rid of Shelob's poison, which is a non-objective attachment I control? You don't control it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would lose at this point. I think I would actually have to get rid of the um, the black arrow. Dang. Really, dang. So, if you're not hasty stroking that, that happens. No, I think there's, like I said, there's worse stuff. Yep, I agree. Poor Legolas, he's lost a lot of stuff. He has. Anyway, that's a bounce, and I will reduce my threat. Okay, so then I'm questing for four. There's eight in the middle. No, there's seven in the middle, sorry. Nine. Twelve. Fourteen. Okay, so that's eighteen to seven. My card is. He hates them. Either flip Smeagol to Gollum, or Gollum makes an immediate attack. The first player may spend uh, and exhaust the one ring. Let's do that. Do it. That is... Yeah, so that surges into an orc. Oh, he's new. So that's two threat, and then I'll read his peril. 
this effect. is you. It's my card. Yeah. It's my card. Uh, either discard a random card from each player's hand, or he makes an immediate attack again. Shelon's already attacked. We got one card. I will take his attack. Okay. It's peril. I can't say anything. All right, well, that's happening, Mike. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hasty stroke that? Do you want me to? No. Okay. Nope. Whew. Whew. <laughs> and your card is that one. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Do you want to just keep slamming Gildor? <laughs> there should be a rule like when you have so many condition effects, you die. Yeah. All right. So... Uh, good question. Wouldn't that add a resource to Shelob since we canceled it? We didn't cancel it. Um, we hates it. Oh, yes, it would. It would. Yep, because it cancels the effect. Canceled the effect. Yep. Good catch. Thanks for keeping us honest, John. Thank you, John. Um, if you take... So that's a seven. Oh. Eight, nine ten. in the middle. Ten. Is it? Oh, now it's ten, right? Now it's ten. Yep. Additional resource. So we beat it by eight. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So you ready? <laughs> three A. Gollum's betrayal. Got him. Kissed Gollum in his ear. At last, my precious, we've got him. Yes, the nasty hobbit takes this one. She'll get the other. Oh, yes. Sheila will get him, not Smeagol. He promised. He won't hurt Master at all. But he's got you, you nasty, filthy little sneak. He spat on Sam's neck. And Sam's here. Can you believe it? Oh, Sam. Okay. When revealed, add the cleft of Kirithungle to the staging area. Okay. Flip Smeagol. I'll take control of him. To his golem side, heal all damage from Shelob, and each player places a resource on her. This all can't be good, right? Okay. 3B, Golem's Betrayal. If Golem is defeated, add him to the victories play. Do not flip him over, okay? While Shelob has at least one resource on her, she gains forced. When he's dealt any damage, cancel it and discard one resource. All right, just keeps her alive forever, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. We can't okay. win unless both Shelob and Golub are in the victory display. Cleft of Kirith Ungle, immune to player card effects. While Cleft of Kirith Ungle is in the victory display, Shelob gets plus two attack, loses indestructible, and gains. Shelob engages the first player. Place a so resource to travel there. We have to go there. Right? Yeah, we it's do. The only, way to, only way to kill her. Well. I mean, we might as well. She's not going to attack us this turn. And she'll just come right to me. Are we cool with that? She's coming to you? I'm the first player. No, that's when it's in the victory display. That's in the victory display. Okay. Let's do it. So we have to add a resource that to her. Plus two attack. Not yet. All right. Um, but did you do the travel effect? I did not. I did now. Okay, right. so she's a 10 threat. <laughs> All right. Why don't you take the Orc of Kirithungle? Because... <laughs> Yeah, okay, I'll take him. Because I can kill him. Oh, no, I can't. All right, well, we can kill Smeagol right away with your arrows. Can he? Can we? Oh! Smeagol, or Golem, doesn't have the special effect on this, does he? No. Good. 
That means if it's predictable how much we need to send if his he way. If he engaged the first player during the refresh phase, he would make an immediate attack. Yeah, no, I remember back in the uh, Dead Marshes, you would uh, discard the top card of the encounter deck and add to his defense. I do remember that. Okay. All right. Uh, this is you. Yep. So, how much are you swinging my way? How many arrows are you giving me? I could give you up to six. Three or six, up to you. Or I we could... Need to hit, we need to get Gollum. So... I'll, I'll send six. How... Can you kill your guy, though? No. Uh, I could kill my guy if I spent... I could kill you know my guy I myself. Need... I only need three of yours. You only need three? I still can't kill if my Legolas... guy, but it helps. Yeah, Legolas is coming your way for five. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, I can. I can pitch a card to wake up Glorfindel, so I get to draw a card as per Galdor's ability. Okay. Uh, yeah, now I'm good. Okay. So, because I'm going to need Bayorn, I think, to defend Gollum. Yeah, uh, you have three arrows. Okay, that won't be enough if I if you need Legolas. Okay, you know what? I am doing... I don't need Legolas. Oh, no. You don't need Legolas? I don't. Okay, I could use your three arrows. That'd be great. Yeah, and I just uh, went back on my word, just in case you have a shadow effect that I want to cancel. Okay, so Gollum bounces with Bayorn. Okay, so now I do okay. it. All right. You're forewarning this thing? I am forewarning it. Okay, it's a bounce. All right, so do you need any help at all? Uh, I can do three, six, seven, and kill my guy. Okay. I need three of your arrows. You get three. Like a last. Okay. The cleft does not get bigger. Gollum goes to the victory display. And I heal my damage from Gildor. Not that it matters, because he's not ready anymore. We've got 10, 11 in the middle. And Mike, I will be right back. Mm. Let's let's control N. Sure. Okay, thrill the crowd for a minute. <laughs> there we go. Oh, fortune or fate. Happy to see that. That's a get-out-of-jail-free card. Okay, so there is no limit on the amount of progress we can put on the quest. That's good. Uh, so we're going to be hitting her for... Yikes. Many, many turns. So, I am first player. Which means she loves going to be engaged with me shortly. So, can Legolas pierce Shelob? And the answer is yes. So that means we could get rid of two resources per turn. I like that. I like that, and I'm happy with that. Now, the question of what do we do? I have spent a lot of money already. So he's exhausted. His text box is blank. But I still get resources. Which is interesting. So I'm going to spend a dollar on I'm back. him. Hello. You're the first player, right? Yeah. Stealing some money from uh, Frodo. That all happened too late in my hand. Yeah. Right, so. I'm going to pitch a card to Elrond and pull it back with Arwen. Oh, that's nice. I'm not going to do it because I need more money. But that could potentially get rid of our Den of Night if we want to. Uh, so then I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's right. Nice. How you doing there, buddy? Oh, and I draw a card because of Galdor. Are you done? I'm done. Okay. I'll bring out another Bayorning. Just, you know, 
in case something bad happens. <gasps> and it's a combat action. Yeah, but I already have Bayorn on the... Yeah, but Bayorn can die from an attack. Oh, and then during the... Oh. <laughs> it's so bring good. Me, bring me an Asgore. All right. So I am uh, I'm ready to quest. Who's first player? It's you, yeah? Yep, so I get I get attacked. Uh, oh, you do you do. mind taking this one? I promise you I will cancel its effect. If it's well, really the bad. thing is, is we're going to get out of the cleft, I'm thinking. So she will engage you then for the rest of time. Are you okay with that? And you have good defense. So uh, you're probably she okay gains. She lob engages the first player. So I think she bounces between us. All right. Okay. So I will defend this. Okay. Let's bounce. I'll take the uh, threat. No, that would be for you anyway. Uh, take the threat. Thank you. Let's not waste it. Okay. Okay. Bird is exhausted. <laughs> um, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. Wow, my willpower ten. Uh, really tanks when I lose. What happened? I lost Gildor. Did someone die? No, he's uh got spot. She loves poison on him. Oh, the spider. Okay, now oh. we're in trouble then. I'm gonna bring one more. Well, he, we're uh, we're sitting at twelve for at eleven in the staging area. Yeah, we have thirteen. How are we gonna get out of this cleft? Oh, where is my? Where's our condition removal, son? Oh, okay. All right. We get out of this um, cleft by redoing something. Uh, oh, duh. Duh. You know what? We're Here's why we're dumb. We should never have been exhausting Frodo. I can handle a threat. Uh, wake, wake him up. He's coming. Okay, so I take a threat. Yeah, I mean, it hasn't mattered until right now. Add, add his willpower. Your Mithlon Sea Watchers, we might not need them. Or all of them. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, okay. For cards. So what you're saying is we're back in the planning phase? <laughs> I, I redid a couple of things looking at the threat in the staging area. I forgot that we're sitting at 11. Okay. So a tiny little retcon. Yeah, okay. tiny little retcon, being an idiot. Okay, who's the first player? It's you, right? It's me. Now I'm at 16. Okay. And I'm at 3. So 19 to 11. That's better. That's way better. I think we can agree. Okay. See, I remember now. I remember like what I didn't like about this quest is that her one resource cancels everything. Yeah. Now like I figure it's going to take us like three or four turns to even get at her. Oh, it's going to take nine hours to hit her. Well, we have both of us have ranged on the table. That helps a lot. Yeah, no. Yeah, we should be okay. Like taking the resources off is just going to take a long time. All right, so are you ready? I'm Your ready. card is a perilous Morgul orc. A uh, random card. Okay. It's a horse. Of course, of course. My card is. You know what? We're going to get out of the thing. She's going to attack again. I don't think we can defend that. Yeah, okay. Do you agree? Yeah. I mean, I can test a will it, too, if you don't want to. It's you... fine. I'll, I'll test a will it. Oh. I have a, I have a oh. lot more money than you do. Okay, why don't you do it? Because then I'll save a resource for her. Um... Okay. Okay. So, so far... that does put... Did you put the resource on, Sheila? I did. Okay. So that's 13 in the staging area. 
11, 12, 13, yeah. So we make six progress. Perfect. That goes there. Two. Nice. Okay. So as soon as it is in the victory display, she engages the first player and loses indestructible. And now she gains her plus two attack. Now gets her plus two attack. Okay. Um, this Morgul orc. Uh, I might as well take it. That's two attacks coming your way, but I'll defend one, obviously. Yeah. Okay, and Legolas can kill him. I say we travel to the Den of Night. And we have cleared the yeah, staging okay. area. So that's one more resource on Shelob. Oh, let's keep it here forever. <laughs> yeah. Let's never let's never cancel anything. That's the only problem with it, right? Like it. Yeah, I know. Just sits there as an anti-cancel. That's fine. Okay, let's shadow you up. Don't, you don't have that card that uh, blanks locations. <laughs> okay, why don't All you right. defend Shelob first? Oh, sure. Give me that one. Yeah. All right. Okay, she hits me for one. I'm actually bleeding. No, you're not. I cure you. Don't worry about it. Cure. Wait until everything's over. No, it's fine, because I'm defending the next guy. And, ex and exhausting for warrant. Okay. Alright. Alright. Uh, Legolas will kill... No, he won't. No, he won't. You don't want me to kill the Morgul Orc? Nope. Because... We can take... Well... We need to do damage against Shelob. Yeah, I mean, we just okay. need to hit her for five. I'm sure you can hit her for five. Yes, but if I hit her for five, and then on your turn, you hit her for five. Can I attack people on my turn like that? I can, right? I believe you can make a ranged attack against anybody on your turn. Okay. I think that's the benefit of ranged. All right. John says Elrond not questing. Yes, he was questing. I thought I factored that in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, you're right. I totally dropped this by 3. <laughs> Put an extra 3 progress on the quest. Happily. Thanks, John. <laughs> I like the people who keep you honest in good and bad ways. Yeah. All right. So, um, thank you, John. Do we know John? What is John's name? What's his, uh, is John just his handle on Twitch? Uh, John Backwards is his handle on Twitch. Oh, okay. Let us know if you're on Discord, John. Okay, so the question is... Can... It's this kind of behavior that gets you invited on. Right? <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so you're going to hit it? Yeah, one moment. Uh, crap. What happened? I just don't like how this has worked out, because I do want to kill my orc. But I need six air. No. Okay. I, I just saved the table state, by the way. Awesome. Thank you. Well, I'm... I should have taken the orc. But... Then I would have had to defend... Oh, right. You would have defended Shelob. I mean, it's... Which fine. you totally could do. Oh, you know what? But... Why don't you take the orc? Because then we had the problem with... Then Bayorn is safe, right? If Bayorn defends. Oh, I see what you mean. I see... Never mind. Forget I said right. anything. Well, here. I'll send my chicken your way for three. Okay. If you give me one will... sea watcher... Uh, I will pitch short? an elven light... To lift her up. Sure, to lift Glorfindel up. Alright, so then we can do it. And then we'll do it. And then we kill the orc. Alright, well, then you don't even need... Oh, you do. You yeah, do. I do. Orc is dead. So then I spend a dollar off of Arwen to pull Elven Light back to reboost okay. my Rittermarks, or my uh, Mythlon Sea Watchers. I have to get rid of the vassal. Okay. 
and then I take off one, one. resource. Okay. And Legolas hits her for five and takes off another one. All right, well, if we can just keep doing that over and over. Then we won't have a problem. I okay. like that. Shalob comes to me, ready for next round. Not a great time for hints on the bow. Oh, well. Pitching a resource to Arwen. And pulling, whoops, pulling it back. This Sam Gamgee, like, his response is hard to get going. You know? Yeah, well, we kind of lucked out with that. All right, we're not raising our threat much. Yeah. I need to put him in a Doom deck. All right. Are you ready? You're first player, correct? You're first player this time. Oh, I got nothing. You're done. Oh, yeah. Mm. Now I'm done. Oh, we could really use um, a Rittermark's Finest. <laughs> what puts two on that and just does it? I have one Rittermark's Finest in the deck, and that orc randomly discarded it from my hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you ready? All John right. is she on Discord, not... by the way. He's what? John is on Discord. Great. Um, okay, so... So Shelob's forced effect still matters. Yes. Okay. All right. So I will defend it. Uh... Oh. Would you like me to cancel that? Um... <laughs> <laughs> well, otherwise it kills Baragorn really dead. Um, that's a good one to know is around. Holy cow. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm raising my threat by one to keep Frodo up. Okay, me too, then. All right. Questing with Sam Frodo. And might as well. I don't think we need much more than that, right? I'm Can questing we, uh, for 13. I'm just going to quest with Sam then, actually. And not Frodo. So I'll quest for two. There's one in the middle right now. My card is... Uh, That's fine. This is the best time for it. You know, your card is... That fella. Yeah, just random discard. Okay. Ha! It's my ally. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Everything's big again. All right, so that's just two in the middle to our 15, which oh. goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Nice. All right, so now it's just a question of killing Shalob. That's it. That's all. I, I guess I'll take um, that orc. Hold up a sec. No, don't worry about it. I'm going to pay one and just shoot it out of the sky. All right. Which gets us another. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you've got arrows, right? I do. Okay. Baragon will defend. Oh. Well, I heal it. Thanks. Okay, so I do have a fortune or fate, FYI. If Baragon okay. bites the dust, we have an escape hatch. And if we need that... Until a random discard discards it from my hand. <laughs> All right, so now... Your attack. I'm going to trigger Bayorn. And he's going to take a resource off of her. Okay, and I will... Then... And you're going to shoot her, right? Yeah, for another resource. Okay. Oh, 
what did I just do? Damage her. All right. Then I will trigger the Bayorn skin changer and bring Bayorn back. Yay! Isn't that cute? I like. Okay. Uh, then I think we control in. God damn, the cards suck. Well, guess what? what? We have a gather information. I don't know what good it does, but I just don't need another. Well, you know what? Maybe I do. Daniel? Bring it out of Bring it out a chicken. Why don't you draw a card on me? Who's giving me this? My errand right. Or, uh, Gildor. Oh. Oh, no, really? I can't. I can't do that. I don't think you can do that. I can't do that. Aw. He's too poisoned. He's too poisoned. Thanks for thinking of me, though, man. You're the first player, right? I am. Fishing resource. I, Arwen, I went. Bank drop. I went and played my chicken. Sorry. Ah, oh, it's fine. Good, 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 good. Oh, and I draw an extra card for Galdor, and he's broken. <gasps> I got a second hasty stroke. That's significant. That is hugely significant. If that other piece of shit card comes back, there's 30 cards in the deck. So. Mm. Ideally, we're out of this before that matters. It's in there at least a couple times. Oh, it's like, really? Oh, yeah, there's like two or three copies of that card. Okay. Well, right now, it doesn't kill Gildor, or I mean, um, Baragond immediately. Oh, uh, yeah, it does. Doesn't it? No, it'll just hit him for three. It, it'll do ten damage. Because it adds a resource to her first. Oh, never mind. Hit him for eight. That would be just enough. Yeah. No, oh, hit him. Yeah. Well, he's defending for six. Uh, she gets plus two, so she's a, she's a six naturally to start. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. All right, so I'm glad you drew that. Is the thesis statement I'm trying to make. Yeah, okay. Um... <laughs> All right. Uh, we can exhaust Frodo. We don't need him. Okay. But I'm going to steal some of his money. Wow. <laughs> so cold. Uh, yeah. All right, so we're done? We're done. I get attacked. Okay. Or I get attacked. Would you like me to get attacked? Oh, please. Good to do it. Okay, that's a bounce. Thanks, buddy. I will take... You will take the threat. Aw. That's right. Baragond is that kind of hero. I like him. I like him. Eowyn's been, like, neutered half the game, man. I know, but we we had her when it counted. Yeah. That's another reason in a quest like this, like, just kill the Nazgul. You might never trigger her again. Yeah. Well, I'm in for okay. 13. Uh, for we're going 13. to gather information. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I'm in for two. There's one in the middle. Your card, Mike, is... Speaking of Nazgul's... Eesh. That's four. And my card is Shadow of Fear. So doomed one for sure. Treat the printed text box of each character as blank. Okay. Uh, okay. I think that's okay. Uh, neuters all my allies. But it well, surges. Do you want to get rid of it? And add another resource to her? I kind of do. Do it. Well, it's, yeah, all, it's want... actually the same. Either I can't remove a resource. Right. But we can also use the ring. And then he comes down for sure. Oh, right. All right, so test to will it. It's, it's shuffled into its deck, right? 
Uh, oh, no. That's that's the ring. Sorry. I will flat out test it, will it? Okay. But it does surge. Yeah. Hold on a sec. I need to get it out of there. What was it called? Do you remember? Forgot what that card was called. Uh, is it Shadow Fear or? Since you tested well, it, all right. You gave you gave her her extra. I did. So we have one more. Exhalation of decay. Each player discards a random card from his hand. And one non-objective attachment he controls. Yuck. Yuck. Well, there's a steward. And I'll discard my old bogey stories. Ooh, that's hard, man. That's... Alright, so the bow the Galadrim goes. Oh, that's... Oh, that's bad. And Sam Ganji goes. Yeah, so my automatic defeat... I mean, we could have Frodo that too, but I'm not sure we need to. Yeah, it slows us down against Shelob. I think with the Vassal of the Windlord right now, we can do it. Mm, we should true. by next turn get her down to zero. Okay. Well, let's. This guy, can, this guy can just sit his ass there. Yeah. Well, we do have anyway, gather information. We win by a lot. We gather information. Let's look at all of our cards. I've almost drawn my deck. That makes one of us. Yeah. Huh. I think I'm going to draw a Power of Orthanc. Nice. Well, do we actually need it, now that I think about it? I mean, I wonder if a Bjorning Skin Changer is actually better right now. I think uh, I actually go for Skin Changer, really. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We just don't need, I mean... I took yeah, my sad that we Veteran have all those Sword things. Okay. So he's staying up there, right? So it's five in the middle. All right. Nowhere to travel to. She attacks. Shall I take it again? Please. I mean, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Let's bounce. All right. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't, don't hit her too hard. We need to hit her on my turn too. Oh, it doesn't matter. I can't. Doesn't matter. Do that. Yeah. Okay. So then Legolas and the Vassal will reduce her again. All right, we're getting there. Yeah. All right. I'll take Sheila. <laughs> I drew Bayorn again. Oh, I didn't have a... Don't even need the skin changer. I didn't have an ally, but I did have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 on me, so I, I still hit him. Hit her. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm done playing cards. No, that's a lie. That's the whole point, right? Look at all my resources, dude. Ugh, it's so aggravating. Yeah, I wish I could draw you cards. I mean, I do have a bulwark. I lost my full hammer. You oh, could... Geez. Okay. If you, really... if you power of ore thanked. I didn't get power of ore thanked. Oh, it all? Oh, right, right. Uh, okay. I'm playing Bulwark of the West, discarding my Errand Rider to discard my Shelob's Poison. So I do have okay. a text box now, which means I can spend a dollar and you can draw a card. Thanks. All right. 
gets a nice shadow cancel, so that's good. Um, one, two, three. That'll be nice. Uh, yeah, might as well pitch a card to give Elrond a dollar, pull it back. Geldor's ability triggers. Yeah, we're good. We are right. good. I think we're okay. It's just a slog. Yeah. All right, so there's five threat in the middle. Sheila will attack Baragond. Ooh. That would give her a seven. Well, except that happened. Um, if it's all the same to you, I'll use my hasty stroke. It is all the same to me. Because I want to pitch my events while I have events on the top card of my pal. I reduce my threat. Okay. All right, so now we can quest. I'll bring Sam. Frodo's knelt, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'll bring Sam then. That's it. 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm bringing 13. Let me know if you ever raise your threat. From what? Oh, at Just all? anything. At all. Let me know if anyone does so I can remember Sam. Yeah, all right. There's two doomed cards that I forgot to raise them up. And I'll spend play Elrond's Council. So I'm at 14. 14, 16 to 5, okay. My card is. First player must choose. Either search the encounter deck, the square pile, and make the Nazgul at the staging area, or exhaust the one ring. <laughs> We're not going to hit 45 threat. <laughs> no, but when I exhaust the one ring, this Nazgul comes down. That's right. And we might draw another Nazgul anyway. So what, you, so what are you saying? Exhaust the ring? No, I'm saying put another Nazgul up. I like it. I like that so much. There's only two in the deck. You must be in the discard pile. There he is. Nice. Okay. And then your card is a perilous one. Just a moment here. Uh, I mean, if he makes an immediate attack, that's okay. Yeah, he'll... Let's have him do an attack. Uh, I'll defend him. Okay. Uh, what that was that? Four, that was forewarned anyway. No, yeah. it wasn't. I did not forewarn him. It was no shadow effect. Okay, so I take one damage. Interesting. Why would, you, why would you do that? So I can take him down. Oh, okay. All right, so we win by five. Which is enough. Which is enough. So double back. We reduce our threat by five. Okay. All right, you're going to take the orc? I'm going to take the orc. I'm going to pitch Glorfindel. To raise Glorfindel. That seems fitting. Baragond. Right. Want want. It's, it's a bounce. Now okay. I'll forewarned it. Okay. Now we need to hit things. Would you agree? I agree. Your first player. So I will just I'll just Legolas yeah. and Bayorn hit him. 
I'll send six arrows your way to get rid of the other one. Okay. And then one, two, three, four, five does three damage on the orc. Okay. All good, right? I just wish this thing was staying with me for Bayorn, but yeah, such is life. Whew. <laughs> just what I needed, a Gondorian shield. <laughs> uh, save it. Because uh. then if he dies, we can put him back. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm not worried about that. All right, why don't you draw a card? Thank you. You know what? That was awesome. Thank you. No problem. Would you like a resource with that? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm stealing one of uh, Frodo's resources. <laughs> Mike, I'm just going to do this to save a little time. I don't think I need to draw any more cards. I've only got nine in my deck. I drew no weapon. Oh, well. Oh, wait, that's a lie. I didn't. I looked at only the top five. I drew no weapon in the top ten. <laughs> What a bummer. Well then. Well then. A whiff. Okay. All right. Raise our threat by one. Why are we doing that? For Frodo? Frodo? Yep. Okay. Uh... Sheila will attack. I'll Very, defend it. Thank you. Uh, that's me. Uh, good thing I just threw on a uh, Protector of Lorien. Yeah. Ah, oh, Covers up my ally. Can you pitch an ally to raise up Glorfindel? I can. I'm very quickly running out of allies. All right. So I will bring two. Okay. One, two. Uh... Actually, I'll bring three. Actually, I'll bring four, because Bayorn can't do any fighting. Oh, he might actually. Never mind. All right. What's in the staging area? Eight, nine. Nine. And we now have 17. That should be plenty. I think that's plenty. Okay. Uh, I'm going to here. heal my guys. All right. Mike, your card is Perilous Orc. Okay, let's random card it. Ugh. Oh, my other protector. What'd you lose? Uh, the one I could have used. Uh, shoot. And my card is a perilous orc. Um, no, whatever. I discord Bayorn, which is fine. All right, can we kill Sheila right now? Uh, do we quest successfully? Yeah, hold on. Eight. 9, 11, 12, yeah. Okay. By 5. Um, then let's be safe about this. Okay. I'll throw Lindor under the bus. I mean, I can only bring 3 your way. But I can defend. Okay, I should be all right. 
Well, we have two guys coming down, or one guy coming down. Do you mind taking him? Why is he coming down? Oh, he's not. Holy crap. He's not. He's not. That's what I'm saying. Oh, my God. Okay. There's no one coming. But, yeah, I, I, if you want me to, I'll take him. <laughs> so I'm, okay, I'll, I will forewarn the Orc of Kirith Ungle. Are you going to be able to damage enough? Uh, yes. Okay. There's no defense boost that I'm missing, right? Oh, that's good to forewarn that. All right. Am I missing a... Nope. I'll defend uh, no, Sheila. no, no, you're not. No, you're not. Because I don't have the resources to raise you if you die. Okay. I am throwing Lindor under the bus. Why would I die? Just in case it was that awful thing. All right. Okay, so he's now pooched because grief uh, overcome by grief. Okay, I'm sending three arrows your way. I'm pitching a card to ready Glorfindel. So that's nine plus Legolas plus one that's of my 12. veterans. Kill him, and oh. then these two guys kill him. Just for fun. Just for funsies. All right, I believe. That we defeated the stage because Shalob and Gollum are in the victory display. They are indeed. I think we can agree we win the game. Whew. Okay. So. I'm going to flip Shalob's lair. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. Resolution. Add a heavy burden to the campaign pool. That's really nice. How did we earn okay. that? That we did all that work to earn that great card. Yeah. That's awesome. So, where do we... Uh, oh, I need to read you a story. Master, dear master, he said, but Frodo did not speak. As he had run forward, eager, rejoicing to be free, Shelob, with hideous speed, had come behind and with one swift stroke stung him in the neck. He lay now pale, heard no voice, and did not move. Ah, it's intense. Woot. Yeah. All right, man. So, I've got a, I've got a thought to read. And then, uh, first I want, where are we headed next? Well, we have now finished the Land of Shadow Box. Yep, so the, the, the camera switches over, right? Yep, we're going back to the west. Going this, back to Aragorn. And we are playing the last quest that we ever played from the Sega Boxes. And that is the, I can't remember what it's called, but it's the one where we go down into the Stone of Eric. That paths of the Dead. Pass, path, paths of the Dead, Passing the Great Company, something like that. Mm, maybe it's Passing the Great Company. It is. The passing of the Great Company. That's the great exactly company. what it is. That was the very first ever quest I ever played on a Twitch with Sean and Chad and Stokes books. Long and long ago. That was your introduction to Twitch? My introduction to Twitch and like the whole COTR family and all that stuff. And I did a super heroic move. You would have loved it, Mike. I had this Eowyn, this Tactics Eowyn, and I hadn't used her yet. Right? Right. And it was near the end. I forget what the situation was exactly, but the objective card was coming to me. And I would have died in the round um, that, like, I had the card or whatever. And so what I did is before I even got the card, I triggered Eowyn's ability just to thread out. <laughs> <laughs> and so... Yeah, that's pretty good. I, I, died, I died so heroically... Like, I think that established my hero reputation in yeah. this world. No, that's a pretty know? good one. Yeah. So, but here's my question for you, Mike. Yeah. Now, I think if we were to be honest about this, we would say that we breeze through this. Okay? Now, you might disagree with that, and that's fine. But the only thing that this just took a while, it, I don't feel like we were challenged. I feel like it, one bad flip could have changed things. Like Maybe. Not, not drawing the hasty stroke. 
before that really awful shadow yeah. went off, stuff yeah. like that. I, I think, but for the most part, I, I, you know, I seemed like we were managing it. Where is this going? So here's my question for you: Has has the player card base passed the saga campaign? In insofar as you should probably do a saga on Nightmare now. Uh, Unless you're doing like funzy little decks or something. You know what I mean? Like, Well, we are better as players now. We're better as players, but these decks... They're pretty good. They're pretty good. They work together really well. And I mean, like... I mean, in this... I mean, like... I wasn't even humming on full force here, right? And without Eowyn and her four willpower for a long time, without a fully loaded Legolas, we just weren't in danger. So I'm, I mean, I'm just throwing it out there as a, as a thought. I'm not even saying one way or the other what I feel about it, but all right. It's I a... just, I'm, I'm curious about it. Like, the last box came out. I mean, this box came out what two years ago? About? I don't even remember. It's been a little I mean, while. It's been a while, and it's been like probably three cycles worth of player cards. No, well, I mean at least two, right? And so, player cards have gotten really good to match the actual quests for non saga. Right? So. Yeah, I mean, the way the. I mean, I don't even know how many, like, newer cards I'm using, but, like, the Bayorn stuff, I mean, that's. That's. That's new. a. That for the campaign is an unexpected bump in strength. So I, I just wonder, you know? Well, it's. The cards aren't getting more powerful, but we do have a lot more options available to us. Right? I mean, I guess maybe that's what I mean. Like, we can situationally deal with stuff a little bit better. And yeah, like Bulwark of the is, West. This is, is now our fourteenth, our fourteenth scenario, and we've only had to restart twice. Twice. No. Yeah, and one no, of them. No, no. Helm's Deep. Th Helm's Deep took three or four tries. Right. I mean, restart like two quests. Oh. Uh. And it was Helm's Deep, and it was like Old Forest or one of those ding dong ones at the beginning that's not really even real. And the last one, we restarted Crossroads. Oh right, but that was for like a silly reason, right? We we got greedy. I got greedy. Like, like a, but like a truly like stupid luck kind of thing. I feel it was a player thing too. I wanted to kill everything. Right. Uh well, fine, but I don't know. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> you, know what, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> John says we this current cycle gave us some insane cards, and it has. But I think so. I just think uh, the last two cycles have given us insane cards. I mean, the the Harad cycle, the whole Dale archetype. Like, I don't think the, the Saga campaigns can even deal with that, and we're not even playing it. Mm. You know, like. Like, I'm not saying I want to switch to Nightmare or a redo it Nightmare. <laughs> I don't. But, I, you know. <laughs> fast, for, has... fast forward a couple months and we're playing, you know, Nightmare, yeah. Uh, yeah. Shadow of the Past, and you're swearing. <laughs> right, right, right. No, but, like, I'm just, I'm just thinking about it in a more global kind of way. I've yeah. been having a lot of, I've been having a lot of fun. I don't need to get my face pounded in by this game all the time. You know, and it's, but I remember when the Saga stuff first came out and trying to beat it was impossible. Yep. You know? And when we tried before with Denison and Stokes and so like we were getting hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, now I took a I took a damage tonight. Well, and yes, there are a lot of variables in like how cards come off the deck, and but if you didn't have the hasty stroke, Baragon's dead. Like, there's a lot of truth in all that, but yeah, 
for those of you who tuned out for a few minutes, um, Daniel just poked fate a hundred times. Um, one hundred, at least one hundred, <laughs> at least one hundred. <laughs> I let, well, yeah. I mean, time will tell. Uh, we know that. So the... we will be restarting the passing of the great company twelve <laughs> times in two weeks. Um, yeah, no, I just, I mean, it's something I was thinking about like uh, last time because, like, once we restarted um, Crossroads, we just breezed through that too. I mean, yeah. These two decks work really well together. I mean, this isn't even the. This is so not the deck I started with. Mm. You know, even though we're back on the Frodo side, so I wonder if like that's a problem. I don't know. Like if you recall, I had Ao oh, and Mary yeah. and Pippin. I mean, it was a, and a bunch of ants. It was a very different deck, but also powerful. Yeah. You a little know? slow and but powerful. Slow but powerful. Like if it ever got moving. Like an actual ant. That's right. <laughs> that's right. So, I, yeah. No, that's curious. That's what, curious thought. what the world thinks about it. Yeah. Maybe we can have a uh, Discord chat. Well, we'll bring it up over Maybe the next couple of games and see see what happens. Yeah, I mean, and I like once we get past the next one. Like you said, we are we are further than we've ever been. So yeah, and that's unfamiliar territory. I've never actually so, played a quest past so that. So that's going to be campaign. that'll be the challenge in its own right for us is just trying to figure it out. I, I'm certainly not going to research it or nope. Look, you know, I don't don't play that way. So <laughs> um, I can't wait to be yeah totally bamboozled by whatever it is. Because what do we have left? We have this is twelve. We got six left, right? Yep, six left. Two more boxes yeah, is... full. We gotta go to Aragorn yeah. and then go back to Frodo and Sam. And we lose Gandalf's delay for the next three quests. That's not a heartbreaker. Not a heartbreaker at all. Now that we got this heavy burden. And we which lose that for the next quest too. Which one is, won't affect us for three rounds, right? Yeah. It's passing the Grey Company and then Pelinor Fields and then something. That's right. right. Or something and then Pelinor Fields. I forget. But Siege of Gondor. That's right. That's right. Cool. All right. Well, thank you, listeners. I hope you had as much fun watching as we did playing. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. No, it was a good game. Uh, I guess we'll see you next week when... Uh, We'll get a special guest on. We just have to coordinate. Yeah, and John, I am John in the chat. I am Big Foam Loaf. If you could please let me know what your Discord name is, I can text and you then, it too. And, okay. Yeah. And message me. That'd be great. Be a He's delight to have you on. All right. Well, have All a right. good night, everybody. Good night.